Hey guys, it is me Green from 2 and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am doing a current household video and I just want to point out that if you guys follow me on Twitter you would have saw that I was meant to be doing it on the Burton family which is the family in my last video with the photos and all that but the truth, I've just had those photos on here like on my computer for a while now and I don't actually play on that family anymore so I don't really think it was worth doing a current household on them but I do play on my new family which I've been playing on for about probably about a week two weeks in my real life because I've been super busy with this voluntary placement thing that I'm doing but it's oh god it's oh god and I'm not showing the outside of the house because it's just ridiculous I've, I've just been even working on the inside and as you can see it's not quite finished yet but we do only have four household members so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the first person, the man of the household should I say. Let's put the walls up so that we can see him properly but he is actually late for work so once I finish he's going to go to work. Hold on, does he actually have work? It says he has work but I made him have family time off. Um, But whatever, I guess he's going to go to work. So this is Zach Baker. Uh, yeah, Baker, and I don't know why, I just, I love this jump him. I think it's just so much, kind of reminds me of stuff in my granddad or where, but, you know, I'm sure it's fine with her young adults. And as you can see, he is actually wanted to be a master chef, but, um, I'm not really being focusing on his, like, aspirations, which I really need to start doing. I should start doing that, shouldn't I? And he is actually in the baking career the culinary one and he's just gonna stick to culinary I think I don't think I wanted to do the mixology one I'm not quite sure about that yet, but I'll see where his career goes off um but he is currently on level I don't know um level something I'm not quite sure it just says I'm pretty sure he's like two or three one of them I don't know it might be because he's late for work but he's he's coming along with that very good and he is the only one working at the moment but you know his girlfriend sorry fiance fiance I don't know which one it is has just I don't know a baby so she's she's slowly getting there and I've also decided that Zach is also going to be baking I know I thought, I always have my women do the baking, so I thought, I'll have my men, man, <laughs> do the baking, as I didn't really want him doing any of the job, I don't know, I just, baking his thing, baking is his thing, should I say, he does have quite a few skills, he's on level 1 of gourmet cooking, and a normal cooking, he's on level 6, uh, he probably has, like, no friends, um, a lie, he has, like, let's just say three friends, which are his actual family members, uh, he is still a young adult and I've just put it on too long because I wanted the two children to kind of be born close together but like I don't want them to grow up super fast because I actually want to enjoy and take it slow and not have like me a grander by like next week when I'm playing on the game but his traits are romantic, Lesia does a bro and essence of flavour which I thought was really really good and I, I don't know why, I'm in love with his eyes, they're just, oh, they're so blue, they're so cute, just cute. Okay, so onto his fiance, fiance, I don't know whatever it is, yeah, like I said, the, where is she? I think she's actually, I'm a baby. Oh, well, this is awkward, she's actually in the bath. Okay then, um, how about we send him to work while she's in the bath, and we'll, um, well, uh, where is he? Oh, he's sad. Okay, so we'll, while she's in the bath, we'll go on to the sun. Um, he's, I don't know why he's sad, but I don't know, maybe he wanted a baby brother, I don't know. But this is, um, this is William, he's very cute. I don't know why the name William Baker just screamed at me, and I love that he has blonde hair. And at the moment, Although his room doesn't really scream it. He's kind of like into dinosaurs and everything. I thought that would be so cool. And he is a genius. And he, we, his aspiration for a kid is to be a whiz kid. Because I do hopefully want him to grow up and become a 
um, scientist. I just, I don't know why. It's just scientist screams me. I don't know, it's like, William Baker, scientist, astronaut. So that's what I think he's going to be doing. Hopefully he can manage to stick to it. And I think that's more or less it. I don't think he actually knows any kids. Um, no, he only knows like three human beings and one teddy. Uh, which are his parents and his sister, so, you know, that's okay, that's okay. Um, he is more of a daddy's little boy. He tends, spends, tends to spend more time with Zach than Harriet, which, yeah, I don't mind, because at the end of the day, you know, he knows Harriet loves him and all that. And that is more or less it for William, but definitely, I think, I think he's actually going to be really cute when he's a teenager. Um, but he's kind of sad, so we're going to have him. Oh, we won't. No, I don't, I want the teddy. I'm going to go have him play with the thing. Okay, Harriet. Okay. She's uh, going into the fridge. Okay. So this is obviously the woman of the household having some cheeky brownies that Zach did make for her. Well, not for her. She made he made him for the family, more or less for um for, for William. But I really love her outfit. Before she got pregnant with Elena, her name is not Elena. Before she got pregnant with her baby, uh, I kind of went for like kind of like autumny styled, like fall styled. I don't know. I just it was kind of matching with like the plaid shirt, plaid shirts and all that. But I wanted to just change it up. But and she does want to be a writer. Which I'm slowly working on. <laughs> She's not even finished her first book yet. She doesn't have a career yet, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe, I'll make her have to join the writer or the painter one, so she does paint as well. Um, she is a perfectionist, cheerful, creative, and a muser. And she is actually very lucky to have her own her own office. I recently just redid the house, that's why I've been like kind of bare and all that kind of just upgraded the house. So this is actually Eleanor. Her name is not Elena, her name is actually Eleanor and she was recently born <clears throat> like just recently I think probably about three, four hours on the game is that um Super super cute. I have no idea what she's gonna grow up to look like to even be. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe. I I I, I don't know what I have in mind for her. Um, I guess that in time will tell what she is going to become. But I will quickly go ahead and give you the lame overview on my house because it's lame. And yes, I know some may think this is a safe non safety thing here, but I just. I haven't even completed this area, I don't even look at it, it's just, it was meant to be some sort of playroom but then it just kind of got wrecked and demolished. So when you walk in you have the kind of big, big, big open dining room kitchen place which is not even finished yet. Um, but I do actually kind of like this like little seating arrangement, I kind of went with a blue theme for the kitchen and it also kind of... I'm not sure about these curtains yet, I might actually get rid of them, but I do, I don't know why, I just love the blue and the like, stoned brick kind of effect there. The flowers are kind of purple, but it, it works, and I was not not sure yet whether I want to just change these chairs, make them like, these two blue and this one white, or just leave it as it is. I definitely need to work on my kitchen. <laughs> But to me, you know, it's okay. We have room. And the front room needs major, major work because it's just ratchet. It's just horrible. Over here is probably one of my favourite rooms in the house. It's actually Harriet's little office. Oops. Um, I have a new keyboard on and what, um, buttons are in the wrong places. It's really cute. But I love the like idea of the red slash purpley brownish colour. I thought it was so cute. And I kind of set it up in like a little office way. I definitely want to put more stuff in here. I'm just not sure yet. I definitely wanted to progress in the writing career. Write, just writing skills so she can get that awesome desk. And 
it's gonna be so cute um but yeah again we just have our ugly ratchet bathroom because uh, who needs a big bathroom right and then this is meant to be a playroom for the kids but it's kind of just <clears throat> nothing to be honest and then we have like a cloned bathroom uh this is william's room which i kind of love for now uh no idea what it's gonna be like when he's a teenager <laughs> No idea they'll still be living in this house if, I don't know, <laughs> he mm. could move into a girlfriend's house, a boyfriend's house, I don't know. Um, but this is the master bedroom, which when it, it was originally downstairs in the living room, because I just literally added the upstairs, I actually really liked it and now I'm still trying to work around it. And I know most people would probably put the TV like at the end of the bed, but I kind of prefer it like on the side of the wall here, just so... When I'm playing on the house like this, if they're watching TV, I can kind of watch TV as well, and it'd be awesome. Next, we have Elena's room. <clears throat> I watch the Vampire Diaries too much. Eleanor's room. Eleanor's room. We have Eleanor's room, which I absolutely love the way it turned out. I love the like pink and the flowers. It's so cute. And yes, I know the curtain is going for her bassinet, but you know it's no big deal. It's not harming her. But that is all for my current household video. But I do have some pictures, which will begin right now, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.